My name is Gary Lane. I'm a tech director for Lucas Oil Off-Road Series. I guess I want to talk to you today about the flags. Everybody knows what this flag means. I think very few people that don't. It's the green flag, which the starter will wave at the start of the race. The next flag is our caution flag. We use the caution flag usually when there's an incident on the track that's not real serious. We try to warn the other drivers coming around the track that there is a problem in that corner or straight away or wherever it is. <coughs> then we'll go to the move over flag. This is usually to a car that's being lapped. They're in the way of the leaders. We try to give the leaders a chance. So we give the guys in the running in front of them, we usually give them this move over flag. <coughs> then we have the black flag, which is there could be a problem with your car. It could just be something you did that we don't care for. It could be for a penalty, and we'll give you the black flag, which you have to pull in at our track into the hot pit area. The red flag, that would be total stop. Everybody on the track stops. That's when there's really a serious problem. And we don't feel it's safe to continue, so we do the red flag. Also on the red flag, we'll put the yellow flag with it. The yellow and red flag together waved this means it's a complete restart. Like on the start of the race, if something happens on the first lap, they'll restart the whole race. <laughs> I think everybody knows what this one is. This, is. this means it's the last lap. One lap to go, it's the white flag. And of course, everybody knows what this one is. The checkered flag is when the race is completely finished and everybody tries to get this one. And that's about it. That's all I can tell you. Now there's a lot of different tracks that have different versions, some have different flags, but this is the one that Lucas Off-Road Series uses.